Welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you how to access UART on GNU slash Linux from a simple C program. So the UART is also sometimes called the serial port and yeah the interface was quite important back in the days when there was no USB. It was used for connecting devices to your PCs like modems or printers or stuff like that. But even today, the interface is still relevant as almost every microcontroller came with a UART. So I think it's, it's quite useful to take a look at this interface. And to do so, I came up with the following setup. Here you can see my Raspberry Pi 3 and I've connected the UART pins to a USB to serial adapter here and I've connected this adapter to my PC. And what I want to do today is I want to write a small C program which will transmit and receive some bytes over UART. And here you can see I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi over SSH. And the first thing with which we have to do is we have to enable the serial port. For this I will call sudo raspi-config and I will go to free interface options. Down here I6 is the serial port. The first question here is would you like a lock and shell to be accessible over serial? So if you type yes here you could lock into your Raspberry Pi over the serial interface. But as I want to use the serial port for data transfer, I select no here. The second question is would you like the serial port hardware to be enabled? Yes I absolutely do. Here is a summary, just press OK here and then we can go to finish and this will apply the options. Here in my example everything was set up correctly but if you change something maybe a reboot is requ required. Ok, so the next step now is to create a small C program to send and transmit some bytes over UART. So let's create the file urtest.c. And first thing I will do is I will include some um, header files here. I will need um, string.h, I will need unix standard.h, and I will need um, fcontrol.h, and I will need term ios.h. The first four headers are quite familiar and this header is needed for functions to configure and set up the UART or the serial interface. But we will get more into details in just a few seconds. Ok, so let's add a main function here and I will declare some variables. A file descriptor for um, the device file with the serial port and len to store the length of a string. Then I will create a char array called text here and now I will declare a variable from the type struct term ios options and this is where I store my serial port setting. Okay great. So the first thing we need to do is we have to open the serial ports device file. So I will type file descriptor equals to open. The file we want to open is located under dev serial zero. So this is the first serial port under Linux. And my flags are read write. So I want to read to the file and write to the file. The next flag is o no delay. I need this flag because normally when I execute a read function it will wait until um, the desired amount of bytes are received. But for example a UART has an input buffer and if this input buffer is empty and I call the read function it will return immediately and will return with zero because it hasn't read any bytes. And the second or the third flag here is no control T2i, so I don't want to use any modem signals here or control console stuff here, so I will set it to no control T2i. 
Okay, so now let's test if the opening was successful. So if the file descriptor is lower than zero, an error occurred. And I will return with minus zero, oh, minus one here. In case it went fine, we can now set up the serial port. But let me first, yeah, make this function complete here. So now set up serial port. So maybe the first thing we want to do is we want to read the current serials port settings. We can do this with the function tc get attribute. Then we have to specify our file descriptor and where we want to store the um, settings, which is our term iOS struct. Okay, after getting it, we can now we can change them but we don't need this line here this is optional just if we want to have them i will force um the op i will yeah set the options different anyway so i don't need to call this get attribute function so The first flag I want to set is the C flag, the control flag. Here I can set arguments like the baud rate I want to use, which is 9600 in this case. I can set the data size in bits, so I want to use 8 bits. So then the C local flag um, ignores modem statuses and C read will enable um, the receiver. If you want to set the baud rate, you can also use CF set speed, and you have to pass the options and the desired speed. This would be another way to set the speed, but I will go with the above option here. So the next flags I will set are the input flags, and all I will set here is I will set ignore parity errors. So in case a parity error occurs, there will be no interrupt or no signal. They will be just they will be just ignored. Then we have some output flags. I can set them to zero because I don't want to change anything here. And we have local flags, and I will set them to zero too. Now we can apply these settings. For uh, before applying the setting, we have to flush the input buffer, at least the input buffer of our serial device. So. To do so, we need the function tc flush um, fd tci flush. So tci flush will only um, empty the input buffer. If you also want to empty the output buffer, we could use tcio flush. But here it's okay to just clear the input buffer. And now to apply our new um, settings. I need the function tc set attribute. The first argument is our file descriptor. The second one is a flag tcs a now, which will apply the settings immediately, and of course a pointer to our new settings here. Okay, great. And yeah, maybe let's correct this comment here. So this would be read old or current serial port settings. Okay, now it's better. And now after applying these settings, we can now read from and write to um, our device file. So I will use string copy to um, copy something into my text variable and I will copy hello from my RP. And then I will store the length of this string in the len variable and now I can execute the function write um, file descriptor text and the length of the text and I will store it in len2 and then I will print out um, rewrote or wrote d bytes over uart. Okay, 
And now I will pause my program for 5 seconds to wait for input. You have 5 seconds to send me some input data. And I will use sleep5 to sleep for 5 seconds and then I will do a read from my file descriptor. I want to read into text and the maximum amount of bytes we can read is 255. Mm -hmm. Received bytes. Then printf received string. And I will print out the string of text. And before we read it here, let's use memset to set every to um, initialize the text string with zeros. Okay, so that should be about it. Read from serial port and, oh, sorry, I can copy this and this should be Right to serial port. Okay, so now let me try to compile this program. Okay, it worked. And now I have to um, go open up a new terminal here on my local computer, and I will use the screen program, which is or which can be used as a serial terminal. And I will use um, TTY USB zero, which is my USB to serial adapter. And I want to monitor it with a baud rate of 9600 here. Of course, I have to type in my password. Okay, and now it's listening. So now let's um, execute my program here. So sudo a.out, which is our compiled program. Okay, hello for my Raspberry Pi. You have five seconds to send me some data input. Okay, received minus one byte, so because I haven't typed anything in, I haven't received any string here. But if I redo this again, we will get this. Hello from my PC. And now we received 16 bytes, hello from my PC. Okay, so sending and receiving with the UART works. And I guess that's it for today. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. If you want to support my work, you can do so and buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash Johannes for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye.